Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Wednesday, I hope you're doing well. So today we are working on another apartment, of course, in San Myshuno, and we are working on 18 Culpepper House. So today we are doing a little bit of a different apartment. We are doing a single father with 10 sons. Now I know this isn't possible to play in game without mods, um, but I thought, you know, for the people who do use mods, you could use this apartment because, you know, most places don't have that many beds in. But more so, I thought it was just quite fun to kind of recreate some people's reality. Um, you know, I know the game doesn't allow you to have more than eight members in the household without mods, but I just thought it was really fun to do something a bit more creative. Um, I've never done this before, so I thought it was quite fun for a change. So I hope you guys like it. Obviously, if you do want to play in it, you can just delete some of the beds if you didn't want to have mods in your game. I don't personally use mods, but you know, for anyone who does. Um, but anyway, so that's what we're doing today. So I thought we'd do something a little bit different because it's just fun. I think it's really important to remember to be creative when you're building. You can, well, I say you, I, <laughs> I tend to get in a bit of a routine when I do builds and they kind of all look fairly similar. Now don't get me wrong, they still will always look similar because it's my style. Um, but I think it's really important to kind of like change up your layouts, even your layouts, your, um, when I say style, I still mean you've got the same like vision of what you want and you kind of like the same sort of layouts, but it's like a modern version or like a cottage style or, you know, suburban craftsman style. Um, I've been building family homes recently for my legacy sims, um, which I do reels of on my Instagram and I have been trying to make different styled houses. So we do have like one of the sisters living in every single world um so they've all got different styles and i think that's really fun to kind of like venture out a little bit um so if you are a builder like me who's been building for quite a long time but you know you get a bit bored of doing the same thing i get a lot of comments over on my facebook group of people going how do you stay interested in it what do you do to keep the game feeling you know not new but what do you do to keep it interesting um and just build in different styles um i think it's really important to build different styles to kind of keep yourself updated I suppose. Um, sometimes I feel I build the same thing over and over so I do like to venture out and try different things because then it makes you a better builder. Um, it even makes your like go-to styles look better because I think it really gives you like a better outlook on the items you have accessible to you as well. Um, but yeah, so I really hope you guys are enjoying today's video so far. I particularly really like this kitchen. I think the colour scheme is lovely. I love the green with the brown tones and a hint of purple. Um, I don't know why, but the purple just always works in game. Purples and blues are really good in Sims. I'm not too sure why, but anyway. So the father of this household doesn't actually have his own room because I was trying to work out how am I going to fit in 10 sims in this really small apartment now it's not really small but it is really small for 10 people to live in so you know we had to kind of work with what we had um, but i think it turned out really well in the end so the father does sleep on this um what are they called the pull out beds you know what i mean um i cannot think of the specific word i don't want to say the word i'm thinking of in case it's wrong um but yeah so he does live in the main living area that's his like domain um it's quite a clean apartment considering they have five, five, ten boys, which is chaos. But my backstory behind it was that him and his wife were married and at some point something tragic happened to her and she's no longer with us. R.I.P. A random sim I've never actually made. Um, <laughs> but now he has ten boys to look after. Now I kind of imagine that some of them were his and his wife's and some of them were his wife's before he was with her. Um, so they are his stepchildren that was kind of the thought i had i suppose about the layout of their family i think it's a really sweet layout um i know that that's you know i wouldn't say a common thing but some people do live that life some people have lost their parent and their step parent raises them um so i think it's really important to kind of incorporate all walks of life in my builds and I just wanted to do something different for today, so I hope you guys like it. Um, also, completely random, but you know the little cars that I've just placed? I've never thought to downsize them so they look like they've got different sized cars. I did it yesterday, so to my fiance, I was like, why have I never done this? It's adorable. So, anyway, just a little tip if you haven't thought about it either, because I hadn't. <laughs> I just think it looks really sweet. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it for the lounge. Um, like I said, it is quite tidy considering it is a very hectic, boy-heavy household. Um, but I really like how it turned out. I think the style is lovely. 
And yeah, so then we move on up to the bathroom. Now the bathroom, we only have one bathroom. We have two bedrooms and one bathroom because he's a single father. He's got 10 boys to look after. Um, I kind of imagined that maybe he has quite a lot of children boys, um, some teens, and he's got two infant boys. We don't have any toddlers. Like I said, I tend not to include toddler beds in my builds because I just find them difficult to fit in. Um, why, I don't know, but it's just, it never really looks right in my opinion. The beds look too small in like proportion to the room and it's just kind of like a weird shape trying to fit in, in my opinion. Why I struggle with it, who knows? Hopefully one day it won't be a problem. But anyway, so we do have two infants and we have two rooms for the boys to stay in and there are four sets of bunk beds with obviously two bunks on each so some could be teens some could be children who knows um, but I just think the rooms are really cute I really like how they turned out considering a lot of the space was taken up with all the beds of course I think it turned out really nice um, I do struggle a little bit with the color scheme sometimes because I do kind of use the same color scheme quite often um, so I did try and switch it up a little bit we do have quite a lot of blue and orange combinations today which I thought was quite nice um, I don't usually incorporate orange very often so we do have a little bit of orange We've got some yellow as well. Um, we've got like a, a tealy blue greeny colour and I just think it looks really nice. So yeah. Um, so each room does have five beds in each. Um, like I said, we do have two bunks in each. Um, so four beds and then we do have two cribs as well. So, you know, a lot of kids. Um, if you did want to use this apartment and you don't want to use mods, you could always have like their friends come over and stay and use it as like a, you know, a bonus room. Um, I just thought it was kind of, fun to have that because my legacy sims literally have so many children um we have 21 grandchildren currently and i want them all to have sleepovers so those are the houses that i'm working on at the moment um i'm over halfway through now i have six houses to build and i'm on the fourth so you know we're a bit of a roll i did finish two and a half yesterday um, but it's just taken me ages, but I really want them to have sleepovers. So I just thought it was quite a cute idea to kind of like, you know, have a really kid heavy house. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it for this room. I did want to make sure that it felt very lived in. So I did add quite a lot of teddies on the beds as well, which I thought was really cute. I tend to forget to do that. So I was really glad I remembered. And yeah, so that's it for this bedroom. And then move on to the next room, which is also for five other boys. Um, I did try and change the style up ever so slightly. Um, I wanted this one to feel a bit more science-y and a bit more, um, well, just science-y, I suppose. The boys are into space, um, they're into science, they're into like making potions. And I just thought it was quite a fun little change from the other room. I feel like the other room is a bit younger, perhaps. This room is more for the older boys. Maybe the other ones are children and some of these in here are teenagers. I just, I don't know, I just kind of felt a bit older. Um, like you can see here, I did originally include a toddler bed and I was like, nah, it's not gonna work. Um, <laughs> so I did switch up for a crib and I just really like it. I think the whole colour scheme in this room works really well. The bed swatches, don't get me wrong, were a bit funky, um, but I did want to have kind of like everyone have a different duvet. Um, and I think it turned out well. The only part I don't like is the like dark brown wood on the bottom left bunk. I kind of feel like it's a bit too dark for this room, um, but it kind of works with the black on that top bunk so we're just gonna pretend I don't care because I really do care but it'll drive me crazy if I keep thinking about it so I'm not going to um but yeah so I am going to end the voice by here for today guys I really hope you enjoyed a little bit of a different video um, let me know if you want me to do like more drastic household sizes <laughs> if you don't like it let me know as well I'm totally fine with that I just thought it'd be quite fun to do something completely different for today so I will be back tomorrow with another speed build I really hope you're all doing well I hope you're all having a wonderful day thank you all so so very much for joining me and like always if you haven't already don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you lovelies. Bye! Hey.